Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Exin and Protein X. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about antigen retrieval and uh, why is it very important. So we know that in immunohistochemistry we do antigen retrieval step, but we need to know the principle and why is it very important to do that. So let's begin. So basically, antigen retrieval is a process to enable an antibody to access the target protein within the tissue. So basically, the antigen retrieval it can promote the antigen antibody binding then we get a good result in the immunohistochemistry but the antigen retrieval may not be required for the progen section where fixation is very mild but it is very much required in the formalin fixed and paraffin md tissue sections so keep it mind so next we need to know that what does the formaldehyde and paraformaldehyde do to the tissues because the usually the common fixative agents that they use that is the formaldehyde or the paraformaldehyde so basically the formaldehyde it is the water soluble gas and in with water it makes the formaldehyde polymer and whereas the paraformaldehyde it is a higher polymer of the formaldehyde and in this case the polymer is up to 100 so for in case of the form paraformaldehyde it requires heat and high ph to depolymerize in water but this formaldehyde and or paraformaldehyde it has very crucial function in the cross linking of the protein so it was shown previously and it was reported that the formaldehyde it react with the n terminal amino groups and side chains of the cysteine, histidine, lysine, tryptophan and arginine. So basically this formaldehyde it reacts with the protein N terminal and it makes uh, such kind of group in the N terminal and then if another protein comes in this case then the, two, the methylene bridge it occurs in between two proteins. So because of this methylene bridge the cross-linking occurs in the protein and for for this reason the antibody cannot bind with the epitope of the antigen so basically in the we know that the, in the protein there is the epitopes where the antibody binds right but because of this cross-linking of the paraformaldehyde this epitope of the protein it masks so this is why the antibody it cannot recognize or it cannot bind properly with the epitope and it restrict the antigen antibody binding so this is why we may not get the good result in the immunohistochemistry so but if we do the antigen retrieval this process it removes the cross linking and enables an antibody to access the target protein within the tissue so basically this antigen retrieval it promotes the antigen and antibody binding to access the target protein of the tissue so you get the higher impact of the result so next let's have a look the antigen retrieval steps so basically we do the two different steps so there are very there are two different different antigen retrieval steps commonly used First is the enzyme induced antigen retrieval. So here basically we use the proteinase K. So this enzyme it is produced by the fungus Tritrium album limber and it is a serine protease uh, family and it exhibits a very broad cleavage activity. So for this enzyme we need to incubate at 37 degrees centigrade for 10 to 30 minutes so this is the protocol for enzyme induced antigen retrieval step and after this process the all of the cross link will be removed but the disadvantage of this process is the enzymes may have destructive effect on the tissue morphology and the success rate for immunoreactivity is low in many cases so this is why uh, people they do not prefer this process and the process 2 that is the another process that is the most commonly used 
that is a heat induced antigen retrieval so here use the citrate buffer the 10 millimolar sodium citrate and additionally need to use the 0.05 percent 2 in 20 and the ph need to maintain 6 but in many cases this ph can be varied it depends on the tissue the the type of the tissues so in this case the sodium citrate need to be placed in a container and it need to be preheated at 90 to 100 degrees centigrade and then the slides need to put on the sodium citrate and need to keep this slide for 15 to 20 minutes after 20 minutes these slides need to be taken it out and then it need to be kept at room temperature for 15 to 20 minutes after after that you can continue to use those slides so this is very much uh, uh, very commonly used this process and uh, the advantage of this process is this buffer it works excellently for most antibodies and can highly improve sensitivity so this is why people uh, prefer this process so that's all about the antigen retrieval steps so if you have any question about this kindly write in the comment section like it and share it thanks for watching